Cold calling has completely changed my life, and today I'm going to show you three reasons why I love it and why you should do it too. Over the last few years, I have helped thousands of agents get listings by cold calling. And I'm not saying this to brag. I'm telling you this to show you how effective it is and why you should take this advice. Before I dive into why I do this and how to do this, I want to tell you what cold calling is. The whole point of cold calling is to get in front of as many homeowners as possible to start that relationship. When I first started out, a very common piece of advice that I would get was reach out to your sphere, reach out to your friends and family. But to me, I was about 25 years old and I was very embarrassed at how new I was and I wasn't, I, I, I lacked real estate knowledge. I didn't feel comfortable reaching out to the people that knew me because I was afraid of embarrassing myself. And so to mitigate that, I reached out to strangers. To create new business, I reached out to strangers by door knocking. So door knocking for me in the beginning was my way of getting in front of homeowners. But through watching people like Brian Casella and Ricky Carruth on YouTube, I learned that cold calling was a way better option for two reasons. Number one, I didn't need to leave my house and I could talk to way more people. If you want to cold call really well and efficiently, you need to have a dialer. And I personally use a 10 line dialer right now. I'll, maybe I'll make a tutorial on that later. But the whole point of having a dialer is to call as many people as possible. I want to talk to as many people as I can in the shortest amount of time. So in a day-to-day -day setting, all I need to do is, I'm in my office right now, and this office is like 15 steps away from my bedroom. So I wake up, shower, come here, and in one hour, I can talk to 30 homeowners. This leads me to reason number one why I love cold calling, and it's the lifestyle that it gives me. I hate leaving my house. I'm a hermit. Like, the only reason I leave my house is for church, gym, um, appointments and food. Other than that, I don't want to leave the house. I hate leaving my house. I just want to stay here and no, like I don't even need to take a shower. The people on the phone, like I could talk to 30 homeowners in one hour and none of them know that I didn't brush my teeth today. <laughs> none of them know that I haven't showered in three days. None of them know. I don't have to do this stupid thing of like plotting out on a map. Hmm, where am I going to knock today? And then Oh my gosh, to like leave the house, you have to be like, all right, well, uh, my keys, phone, okay. Uh, what polo am I gonna wear tomorrow? Oh, yesterday I sweated through that one, so which one's a clean one? Oh man, okay, oh, oh socks, I forgot to wash my socks. Um, I guess I'll wear the one from like maybe two days ago, I don't know. <laughs> and if you've ever door knocked before, you know, like if the, the 15, 30 minute drive to the location that you wanna knock, when you're there, you know, if you've door knocked before, you know this feeling. They say that the hardest door is the car door. The most difficult door is the car door, meaning um, when you're sitting in your car, like parked, ready to door knock, you're like, oh, do I want to, do I want to knock on these doors? And then like that, getting to that place where you open your car door and finally start knocking on doors. Like that's, that's the, har the hardest door is the car door. And there's none of that. All I need to do is sit down. I need to click a few buttons and then I'm immediately talking to um, homeowners in a million dollar price point without driving 30 minutes for that. Something else I really love about cold calling is that I can do it with my friends. So I've got a Discord with about 12 of us and we hop on Discord every day to cold call together. Now we're all on mute, I don't wanna hear their calls, but to know that I'm not alone, to know that I've got other real estate agents doing the same thing, wanting to get better at the same thing, go, uh, going towards the same path and purpose and mission to cold call homeowners all day that level of accountability and camaraderie and that bond that we build through that, through on our Discord, is really great to just have in the background. Also, what's great about cold calling is like, I can watch a YouTube video, I can work on something else, I can play a video game. Like, I don't have to think that hard on like how to set an appointment or capture a lead because I've got the framework of conversion down. But while I'm waiting for someone to answer the phone, I can work on something else and like do more in the day. By the way, if you want a cold call with us on our Discord, DM me the word Academy on my Instagram. The second reason why I love cold calling is unlimited seller leads. We all want listings. It's the better of the two between listings and buyers. If I gave you an opportunity to take 10 listings or work with 10 buyers, if you're not retarded, you would take 10 listings. And that's because it's a, it's a different way to use your time. 
it's much more easier on your time. In fact, taking listings is how you scale your real estate business. To scale a buyer-based business, you need to hire real estate agents to show homes for you. This also ties back into the whole lifestyle thing. Like, taking three listings is a completely different use of your time compared to three buyers. You gotta show them homes. How many homes do you need to show them? How much gas do you need to use? How much, how much vehicle wear do you need to wear until like they wanna put an offer in? And even if they put an offer in, like they might not get it accepted. So like you need to keep doing that until either their offer gets accepted or they get discouraged and give up. Like why would you want to be on that side of the business? I remember when I used to watch Ricky Carruth, he would always say there's unlimited business out there. And it's so true because there are so many homes. There are so many homeowners and there are so many real estate agents that suck. So if you know what to say on the phones, if you know how to close for the appointment, if you know how to meet them at the presentation, meet them at the appointment and get that signature signed, you are taking listings there really is unlimited seller leads. Like someone's always selling their home. Like if I look on the MLS today, like in the span of one day, 100 new homes hit the market. In my, in my, in my low inventory area of the greater Seattle area, 100 homes hit the market. 228 homes went pending today. It's a Tuesday. 124 listings sold today. Like there's so much, <laughs> there's so much going on. There's like a thousand homes that come up for sale in the la in like a span of seven days. And you're here crying about, there's just, the market's too slow. The market just sucks. No, dude, you suck. Yeah, in the, in the last seven days, 1,016 new listings. 1,126 1, new pendings, 1,104 listings sold. You're a loser. <laughs> the reason number three why I love cold calling is that it just works all across the board. Like, like I said earlier, I've helped a lot of new agents take listings. And even if you suck, if you're willing to like have grit and just like bang out calls, if you don't know what you're doing, but you're still banging out calls, you will do transactions. It will be on accident, but you will do transactions. Like I remember my very first year of taking cold calling seriously. I did. A, I, I sold. A, I, I made about one hundred fifty thousand dollars in GCI in gross commissions, and I wasn't good at it. And by the way, my business it's like all cold leads. Like I don't. Know, I didn't know them before I found them cold calling or whatever. Like I don't get much sphere business, which is a problem. Uh, but <laughs> that's for another day. But like all my listings are complete cold, like they are strangers. And I've personally helped over a hundred real estate agents take cold listings in their business. So even if you're new, even if you suck, like you will take listings. It's just that um, you have to do a lot of this to get the result. And the, re the result per effort is definitely gonna be lower if you if you're not good at converting. I've got a new agent named Christian and you might meet him on the Discord one day. Um, he has taken a few listings doing this in the last eight months that he started. However, um, and, I, and I respect Christian a lot because he is a beast, he is a workhorse and he is no doubt going to become extremely successful in this. But when he met me, he did not know how to convert. He did not know how to set appointments consistently when I met him. So. I taught him my framework of conversion. And after doing that, he is now learning to set more appointments. But I remember when I was listening to one of his calls, he's like, all right, yeah, I'll, I'll call you back in like six more months. And I'm like, Christian, what was that? Why didn't you set an appointment right there? And he's like, what do you mean? I was just following up. I'm like, yeah, but like, why is he waiting six months? Like, what is that thing that he's waiting on? Like, what's that thing that's in the way for him to make them smooth in six months? And he's like, I don't even know. I didn't even ask. And I'm like, dude, you need to find out what that is because that's sick. If you if you can solve this, that six month move t might turn into a two month move. And he's like, I don't even know I can do that. The crazy thing about this framework is like it literally is about like how to make the sale happen faster. So my craziest story is uh, from Circle Prospecting. My fastest turnaround was two days. I was cold calling around and I accidentally stumbled upon this guy that was like, Yeah, I want to sell my house, but like next year. 
And I'm like, okay, what, what has you waiting until next year? And he's like, I want to wait for uh, better rates. So this guy turned out wanted to retire to the Philippines. And he, was, he wanted to wait next year for rates to get lower so he could get a higher price. So I was like, well, what if rates don't go higher? What if, what if it gets lower? He's like, well, that's not good. So I set an appointment based on seeing like what we could get for the house now and what it could potentially be next year. And it turned out at the appointment, it turned out that he could get what he needed to go retire to the Philippines. So he, I, the same day that I called them, I met with him. He signed the paperwork and because it was like a, it was a cheaper mobile home. So I didn't mind just like taking iPhone photos of the home and we listed it in two days. And then we got a soul, we got like pending in like 14, 17 days. And now he's retired in the Philippines. That was my most impressive turnaround time from a circle prospecting call. And this is exactly why you need a high conversion rate. Cause if you have a motivated seller on the phone and they're like, yeah, I want to move, but it's going to be a year out. All you need to do is find out why he wants to move and what's stopping him from moving him now. I don't want to get too complicated on this video, but what I'm trying to say is cold calling works even if you suck and cold calling works even better if you can convert. Watch my other videos if you want to learn how to convert. Like I really go deep in my videos on how to set appointments and how to get that agreement signed. So now that I've given you a boner about cold calling, here's why it sucks. Number one, it takes a long time. Let's say that you're cold calling and circle prospecting, like you're dialing a neighborhood. The chances of you finding someone that wants to move in the next two years is, it's slim. Like you have to dial through a lot of people to find that person. And even when you find that person, they're still gonna take two years to move. So even if you find that person, you need to wait two years to even get a chance at getting that listing. You can also try dialing expireds. So expireds are high competition leads. And if you're not good at setting the appointment, if your conversion rate sucks, then this is going to take a really long time for you to find a result. So no matter what lead source you're going for cold calling, it's gonna take a long time to convert these leads, especially if you suck. Reason cold calling sucks number two is it's very competitive. If you're calling expireds and for sale by owners, everyone's calling expires and for sell by owners. They're the most valuable lead source because they have a hand up saying, I wanna sell my house. If you are able to set an appointment with one of the homeowners, chances are they're, mul they're interviewing multiple agents. So you better know your objection handlers. You better have a solid presentation. You better understand like how to get someone to sell themselves before you even present. Like you better have your stuff down. The reason number three why this sucks is because you can get pretty discouraged. Like, especially if you, if you suck, you're, even if you're good, you won't see results until you really start building up your database. But in the beginning, if you're just starting out and you haven't built up, like, if you're not stacking all these people that want to move in the future and you don't have much of that, you're going to get discouraged. You're not going to get paid for a while. You're not going to see any money. You're not going to, you might not see any appointments if you suck. So it's really easy to get discouraged. Because it's so easy to get like discouraged doing this, you need to have a strong motivator and like you need to really know why you're doing this in the first place. The reason why I spend like all my waking day in my office making calls, um, number one, I, I love it, but also number two is like, my parents are sacrificed their life in Korea to move over here for, my, for an opportunity, for me to give me an opportunity. And right now my parents are not set up for retirement. Like I grew up poor and my parents made bad financial decisions um, still. So now it's completely up to me to retire them. So out of the love in my heart that I have for my parents and for my future wife and kids that I wanna set up a great life for, uh, this is why I do it. I, I want it to have freedom and to protect myself from whatever, the matrix. So that's why I cold call every day. So if you want to cold call, you should 1000% do it. And if you want to learn how I made $47,000 last month cold calling, then I got a video right here or in the link in the description. You should watch it. Thanks for watching.